This side, Rahul Magan here is the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP. And today we would be covering a very dedicated video covering a program called Private Placement Program, whereby we are covering a topic called Sovereign Guarantees. As you very well understand that now Treasury Consulting uh, LLP is not an Indian entity, it's practically a Singaporean entity. We have our own subsidiary in Singapore, which is Treasury Consulting PT Limited. And this controls the entire 100% stake in Treasury Consulting LLP. We do have one office in Singapore at Shenton Way and one office which we are taking roughly, I think, one, one month from now, which is at uh, Marina One. And we are all set to establish our own trading desk in PPP. So currently we, we do have, but we are establishing one in Singapore in PPP, which will cover, which will cover the trade of everything. So today we will talk about uh, uh, you know our trading technique, which is how private placement program works on the sovereign guarantee. The reason for shooting this video is that too often basis we are getting a lot of emails from the people that who wanted to trade the sovereign guarantees. Now before initiating this video, first of all we need to understand that what do you mean by a sovereign guarantee? A sovereign guarantee is nothing but an instrument which is being traded, you know, uh, which is certified by that not certified where you have a sovereign uh, where uh, where you have a sovereign guarantee example ust united state treasuries like if you have a 10 year treasury uh, ust 30 years 20 years 15 years or even 3 months which is known as treasury bills you know that your money is safe because government of us has certified that in case of default of that institution the government of us will uh, will pay you the money the same is the case with India and most of the countries. Why I refer to most of the countries? Because with due respect, we do have many countries in, in Europe, which I do not want it to name. But these countries are not at sovereign guarantee. Example, Italy, Ireland, Portugal, Spain. Their sovereign guarantee is not 100% stamped because the country itself at the brink of a default. Country might default. So like you know if from 2008 now we have roughly 2018 every now and then we are getting a news that this european economy now a uh, few days ago there was a there was a great discussion which was going on the bloomberg tv about italian referendum that italy wanted to get you wanted to exit from from uh, from european union so on an open basis this would continue to happen but once you talk about a sovereign guarantee First thing which you should be very well clear that sovereign guarantees are of multiple types. So you have three months, you have six months, you have nine months, you have one year. It could be five year. From zero to one year, this is known as discounted. From one to five years, this is known as short term. From more than five years till 10 years, from five years till 12 years, it is known as MTN, medium term notes. From 12 years greater than 30, it could be more than 30 like Spain who have a sovereign guarantee of more than 50 years, right? This is LTN, long term notes. So unfortunately, there are many people, uh, there are many people we know that uh, they often talk about, uh, there are many people we know, they always say that there is a sovereign guarantee uh, that LTN always refers to bonds. No, uh, you know, theoretically, theoretically speaking, it might be. So you need to understand that once you talk about a PPP trade of a sovereign guarantee, you should not talk about the discounted securities, which is three months, six months, nine months, maximum one year. It could be any country, even US also. Because PPP players are not interested in trading a short term security. Ultimately, the volatility levels in a short term is pretty small. So nobody will get anything while trading that. They are pretty much interested in LTNs, which is from 12 years to 30 years. In fact, they are not interested in MTNs also. But to an extent, we saw that they do have little bit interest in MTNs also, right? So you first need to see that what kind of sovereign guarantee do you have? Second important aspect of a sovereign guarantee is the credit rating. So example, there are two participants. Let me write here. The participants is, is Mr. X and Mr. Y. Mr. X holds the sovereign guarantee of US. I bracket In bracket, I refer LTN. Mr. Y refer to Europe, in bracket I refer LTN. A PPP player, including me, would tick here, not here. I am not saying we don't tick here, but we would be reluctant to ticking here. So I would love to tick here, then to tick here. 
So basically, what are the various types of sovereign guarantees which you have? One which is on balance sheet, one which is off balance sheet. Unfortunately, when people are talking about sovereign guarantees, they do not know that they do have off balance sheet also. So these are sovereign government which are directly issued by the government, could be India, US, Europe or we have different governments, you understand. We have sovereign financial institutions. Example, if you talk about US, you have Fannie Mae, you have Freddie Mae and you have different government institutions of United States of America. If they issue any certificate, it meant that boss, it's being certified by the United States government. Then you have Cauchy institution. These are the institutions which are partly owned by government and partly owned by them like DBS Singapore, Development Bank of Singapore. DBS Singapore is being, although majorly being owned by government of Singapore, but some part is owned by DBS also. So this is Cauchy. But if today DBS will issue any security, then Singaporean government would have a say because uh, ultimately responsibility is on the Singaporean government because they are the major, major stakeholder in that. Then you have off balance sheet exposure. I'm not sure how many people those who are watching this video continue understand off balance sheet exposure because generally from off balance sheet exposure the human mind goes in terms of you know letter of credit, trade finance, bank guarantee and all these kind of things. But on the contrary, you should know that every year there is a report which is coming after Davos. Davos means the every the yearly phenomenon of Davos, whereby they they share a few they share the best the data on their best effort basis about the off balance sheet exposure. And trust me, US is the only country who have the humongous amount of off balance sheet exposure. In fact, nobody even know how much how much exposure they do have. But when we talk about PPP trade, we need to appreciate one thing that not only the on balance sheet exposure but also the off balance sheet exposure can be traded but somehow people tend to believe that only on balance sheet exposure can be traded no that is practically wrong both can be traded yes i should mention that when you talk about off balance sheet exposure you the kyc compliance and the cis customer information sheet has to be uh, more than you talk about on balance sheet exposure because vetting of off balance sheet exposure is quite easy on the contrary, vetting of off balance sheet exposure is relatively not easy. So you need to pay an effort in that direction. That is why. Then these all sovereign guarantees are has to be backed by a bank. Sometimes they are bank guaranteed. You know, a bank is giving a guarantee, like in case of DBS Singapore. Once a DBS Singapore is issuing a security that is anyways issued issued by a bank, which is a financial institution, and also this being stamped by the government of Singapore. So it is, so if you have a sovereign guarantee issued by DBS Singapore, on the contrary, you have a sovereign guarantee issued by any European country, then DBS Singapore would have more value than this European country. Reason being, it's not only a financial institution as far as this business is concerned, but it's, it's also being backed by government of Singapore. Then you have non-bank guarantees. Example, let's talk about India. You have Life Insurance Corporation, UTI, Unit Trust of India, and there are so many. Uh, we shortly refer this as DII, Domestic Institutional Investors. So you have so many domestic institutional investors which are not practically not not uh, backed by the bank. Then you have AAA rated, which is United States. Then you have less AAA rated, which is like China, which is like uh, I would say Tokyo, and so on and so forth. Then you have C and D class, here comes to an extent India and respective countries. Not very carefully, rating play a very important role in the trading of, uh, in the trading of a sovereign uh, guarantee in PPP. If, let's take three cases here. If you have P, if you have Q, if you have R. This man is holding a sovereign guarantee of DBS. He is holding USD, United States Treasury. He is holding GSEC, which is India. Then the first preference would be DBS, second would be USD, third would be him. It might be possible a trading platform might ignore that. Because we need to remember one thing. A trader is a person who knows how to get it traded. He is always concerned about the implied volatility. And implied volatility is always high in case of the C and D class. So if you are having a sovereign guarantee and you are not concerned about the rating, then this is your problem. Now let's talk about fraud. 
majority of the frauds which are happening in sovereign guarantees that people don't tell them that boss you have a sovereign guarantee which is not backed by the bank you do not have a sovereign guarantee which is of double uh, a or might be double a plus sorry triple a double a plus double a and maximum could be a there are a lot of people who tell you to come to know and say that even if you have a c class or d class sovereign guarantee is not a problem like if you come to me and say that i have a sovereign guarantee of a nation which is on the on the verge of default i would never accept that on the contrary if you come to me and say that i have two clients one who do hold singapore one do hold us so i will preferably go for singapore than going for us then it's a modeling it's a hierarchical haircut models i i hope you understand the meaning of haircuts so if you offering a security of 100 million say i am writing here writing here if you are offering a security of 100 million euro right and uh, suppose it is here then the haircut is i would say marginally 5% if it is here then it could be 10% if it is here then roughly 8% if it is here then more or less anywhere between 8 to 10% and here haircut would be more than 50% the biggest biggest fraud which is happening in this is that once you submit c or d class of security a relevant trader trader will don't tell you that boss this is c and d class so there would be a haircut of 50% so you are submitting me 100 million euro and finally it would be 50 million so net would be net would be 50 million euro what it would happen you will continue to be happy that you are the trading amount is starts from 50 100 million euro but practically it is starting from 50 million euro last but not the least there are certain ways which is known as credit enhancement procedures don't to be bother if you are lying here then there are certain procedures which is known as credit enhancement procedures you can use these credit enhancement procedures and you can increase the value so this is just like a synthetic procedure so example without even owing anything you can enjoy the benefit of that so in this what would happen you do not actually you do not own triple a rated but using certain credit enhancement procedures you can increase that now you must be thinking what are these procedures this is little technical and this is on the consultancy basis so this is something which we don't share in the public domain but if you would like to have these credit enhancement procedures on your uh, sovereign securities you can contact us you know our, our detail and we'll share at the at the end of this video and finally this will go uh, this has to be backed by prime bank and non prime bank how it is backed so this is all little little technical but uh, greater fact is that even if you see or d then basically this credit enhancement procedures will help you finally you will go to trading trading platform where they will start generating the money and so on and so forth for you there are a lot of apprehensions which are here in the media and there are a lot of people who are also calling us that whether ppp is actually existing or not whether do we have a trading platforms who are existing or not whether the so called return of 25% per week and so on and so forth existing or not my answer this answer is yes it do but at the same time i am always referring same to the video that it's not the responsibility of a trading platform to give you the entire knowledge it's not because i am a trader it's not because i am a ex treasury head it's not because i am managing the treasury of my company and i also supporting the treasury of various companies in india and singapore it's because that a particular person when enter into a product he should also understand very clearly that what are the pros and cons of that product so example if i'm driving a car in dubai i know that here the minimum speed is roughly 100 km per hour i am not a perfect driver everybody know i will think 10 times before driving to dubai because here driving here driving starts at 100 km per hour and i don't know how to drive so ultimately if anything would have happened the fault is mine it's not the dubai government fault i cannot bypass my responsibility to the dubai government because they allow people to travel at 120 km per hour this is practically incorrect similarly we need to appreciate that once an investor who enter into any trade he should have in and out understanding of that trade so example in this regard if you are referring to a sovereign guarantee then you should understand what is sovereign what is hierarchical haircut models you should also understand that what is credit enhancement procedures there are seven types of credit enhancement procedures do you know that boss 
seven types of credit enhancement procedures. So if today you will come to me and say that I have a sovereign guarantee which is C and D class, my uh, haircut would be more than 50%. Can I, can I reach here, which is just 5%? Of course, you can do. This is credit enhancement procedure. Cost vary from each procedure to another procedure. This is something which we need to understand very carefully. PPP is a reality, PPP would be a reality, but we need to appreciate one fact that, you know, people should understand the trade very well. If they do not understand the trade and they will start bypassing the, you know, uh, the all responsibility to a trading platform, that is their, that is their fault. It's not their fault. So it is an investor's responsibility, as simple as that. Well, of course, as you very well understand that a fixed income platform pretty much live, it's quite simple. You just need to, well, this is an Apple phone, so I'm not sure. Uh, so, you know, you just need to open www.fixedincome.global. It is pretty much on the website. You will go there. You will click PPP desk. This is here, the private, you can see that Reggie Consulting PPP desk Singapore. Here you will get the entire information about our PPP platform. It's quite convenient to talk to us on the Facebook now. I hope you are able to see uh, this sign. This is Facebook communicator. You will just you will just click here you will you will just click here and automatically and uh, you will click here and this facebook this facebook icon will open to you so it's very very convenient to to connect with us alternatively our skype id is rahul5327 website is www.fixedincome.global this is where you will get the ppp our alternate website is www.tragiconsulting.in my mobile is 9899242978 and my email is rahul.magan at the rate tragiconsulting.in we are all set to launch so many videos now on the youtube we apologize not being able to do so in the last one month because our company was an under consideration and tragic consulting singapore is envisaged to give you a lot of things thank you and have a safe trading enjoy your day